my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a luxury favorites video. I am sharing with you everything that I have been loving recently. As always, this is a mix of items. I have some fashion in here, I have some accessories, I have some stationery, I have some jewelry, just a little bit of everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is kindly being part sponsored by Ashton and Miu, who I have worked with a few times before now, and if you're not familiar with them, if you miss those other videos, then they are a jewelry company that do the most beautiful everyday jewelry, and everything from kind of necklaces to bracelets, earrings, just so many beautiful pieces. The necklace that I'm wearing here today is from them, and they are currently having a sale for Singles Day where you can take 20% off your entire order. There is a discount code, so I will pop it on screen. I'll also pop all the details details down below in the description section. So many beautiful items to choose from though. I will be sharing some of my favorites in this video as well, but definitely a good one to check out if you are after some new jewelry. So first up, I wanted to kind of share a complete look that I think I'm gonna wear for New Year's Eve. I got in a new dress and then I got these jewelry pieces and I just loved the entire combination. Um, so first up is this beautiful necklace. And I think between this one and the one I'm wearing, these are my two favorites, but it's difficult to choose but it is so beautiful and dainty. It has this lovely kind of half circle effect and you have these tiny little sparkles with this gold chain. I believe they do most of their jewelry in um, gold, silver and rose gold. Their rose gold is beautiful as well. I went for their yellow gold though and I thought this was so stunning and paired with these earrings, which I am a little bit obsessed with. So you have this beautiful kind of ear crawler effect. They are fairly dainty though. and I do generally prefer more dainty earrings and they are so sparkly and pretty. I absolutely love the way they shimmer and I just thought these were so cool, like very classic, but like a little bit edgy as well. I thought the combination between these two and the dress I'm gonna show you in a second was just so beautiful. So the dress is this gorgeous drapey kind of lilac periwinkle blue-ish one shoulder dress and it doesn't look like much on the hanger um, but it does look really nice on so I will kind of try it on. I love this though, um, so, so beautiful. There is a lot of stretch to it and there's a lot of kind of ruching and gathering. It's kind of like a little bit Grecian inspired which is why I love the combination with the jewelry. Not the jewelry is Grecian inspired but it just kind of seemed to go. I think this is gonna be my New Year's Eve look. I just think it's so special. It's a really comfortable dress as well because of the fabric. There is so much stretch and I just absolutely love the entire combination. I also wanted to share my other favorite jewelry pieces as well. So this one that I'm wearing now is just the prettiest thing and it feels very, very substantial as well. So the pendant is like very high quality, like you can feel it as soon as you like feel the weight of it. And it's a very simple um, circle disc with this really pretty kind of sparkle effect on one side. I thought this is so stunning. Mine is just the plain one, but you can also get this engraved as well. Really, really simple chain. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, I love it. I've been wearing it constantly ever since and I just think it's so gorgeous. Um, I also got this beautiful chain and I mean after a really nice simple kind of layering chain I think you can get pendants as well but I just wanted the plain one again just to layer. Um, I think the layering effect is really pretty but I don't always like to layer with really chunky pieces whereas this one is so delicate and dainty so really nice to achieve that like multi-strand effect without it turning into like proper statement jewelry that's gonna like take over your whole look so I love this, really, really lovely, really easy to team with any of their other pieces and just the prettiest thing. And then I also really love this bracelet, which I thought was so pretty just as like an everyday piece by itself, but also ideal if you wanted to layer other pieces on top, like neutral enough to go with other pieces, but also pretty enough just to wear by itself. It does have this kind of rope twist effect, so you get like a little bit of sparkle without it being too much. Just the prettiest thing. Their metal tones are always so beautiful and 
Oh, I just thought it was the prettiest thing. So huge fan of all of this. Um, as I mentioned, you can currently get 20% off a singles day as well. I always feel like Ashton and Miu pieces are just very well priced in general, but obviously with the extra 20% off, it is absolutely amazing. I will link all my favorites down below, um, but yeah, an absolutely amazing deal. I think these pieces are so beautiful. So from super fancy to super casual, I have two footwear picks here and I just been loving these so much. I'm definitely more on the practical side, but I think they're cute as well. So first up, my Vare sneakers. I have been loving these so, so much, and I've gotten so many questions about the Vare line in general. I did get a new pair with like the black feet. I had to return those though because they were too big, and I don't know why because I got the same size, but they were just a bit too large, and if I returned them, I wasn't gonna get the discount. Like there was no option to exchange because I did get a little bit off, so I'm hoping they're gonna go on sale again. If you see any offers, please let me know um, because I do wanna get another pair with the black V. But in the meantime, I have just been loving this pair so much. They are so comfy and I don't know if it's like the particular style I got. I will link the exact ones I got below, but these are just so great, no breaking in. Like I've heard a lot about the tongue, but there's been no rubbing, I've had no blisters. I've been able to wear these all day long and that was like right from the get-go as well like there was no breaking in required i just i just love them like they're so so great and mine are the more subtle ones just with the all white um i do think that this style though comes in a few different combinations but yeah if i know i'm going to be on my feet all day and i want just like a really simple plain white sneaker this is what i gravitate towards i've worn them a ton and they just don't really get old for me, like so comfy, really functional, really neutral, just the best thing. So would highly recommend if you've been considering these, I found them to be extremely comfy. And I'm definitely not one of those people that find like even uncomfortable shoes comfortable. Like, I know some people wear Louboutins like, oh, I find them like slippers, they're so comfy. I'm not one of those people at all. Like if a shoe is uncomfortable, I will also find uncomfortable, but this style is fantastic and I've just been loving them. And speaking of super casual shoes, I do also have my mini Uggs here and I have been loving these so much. I actually got them a couple of months ago, but I only recently started wearing them for obvious reasons. They're definitely more of a winter shoe, but they've been so great. And I've always been on like team Ugg. I am such a fan of these shoes. You know, I think they're popular for a reason. Not the most chic of shoes, but they are so warm and so comfortable. And I think this new style is just incredibly adorable. They come in a few different colors. I went for the classic chestnut and I first kind of had these on my radar after I saw a photo of Kendall Jenner. I think it was wearing these. I think she was just going to like a yoga class or something. I just thought they were so cute. I'm not massively someone who like really closely follows the Kardashians, but she just wore these really, really well. Um, and I just thought they were so fun. They are helped by this little grip at the back here. So once you pull on that, really easy to slip on and just really functional and cute. Next up, I wanted to share my planner. So I finally got my order through and this is the same planner that I've been using this year, like last, I think it was November that I bought my first one. First time I'd ever tried it out, but it's just been a game changer. Like I used to use several different methods to like plan my days and my weeks. And now I only use this and it's just incredible. I love it so much. So I knew I wanted to buy another one this year and I did get my order through. You guys actually helped me on Instagram stories decide what cover to go for. There are a few different cover options and I I had the like neutral leopard print one this year which I loved I couldn't decide whether to go for something different and you guys helped me decide this year to try the floral one so I am super excited the packaging is just so beautiful like it comes in this beautiful box and I think like every single order comes like this I don't think it's like special gift packaging or anything like that it just feels like a very very substantial thing like it's so beautiful and I do actually think there's a discount code. Um, I didn't manage to see it in time for my order. And I was super annoyed and I think it gets you 10% off. I'm not sure if it's still valid, but if it is, I'll pop it down below. Um, but yeah, I was happy to pay full price because I knew how much I loved this year's one. So here it is. It is so, so beautiful. I love the floral cover. I'm so happy I went for this one. So thank you so much to everyone who voted. You do have the gold right there and you have at the beginning of every month like a look at the month ahead and you have this month right here which is where I write out my monthly goals and then in terms of the daily view so it is one page per day except for weekends where you just get one page for the weekend and in this column you have like your appointment section and in this column you have your to-do list up here you have today's top three where you write out like the three things that you want to achieve today and then you have like a due section dinner plans dollars don't forget and then down here you have daily 
gratitude as well as a note section and then up top here you have a little quote as well I just love everything about the layout I love the functionality I love how beautiful it is and it's just been so great in terms of keeping me organized and keeping me on track I just love it like I cannot say enough good things about this planner it has just been such a game changer and I just love it to bits and then speaking of good habits, I also have a few active wear favorites here as well. Um, so the first one is a set that I bought in, which I've been so in love with. I think it's so, so cute. It's had absolutely glowing reviews, which is totally what convinced me that I absolutely see what the hype was about. I love the fabric. So these are a beautiful kind of, um, it's like, if you know the Aloe Yoga kind of airbrush finish, it's like that, but it's like a slightly stretchier, softer version. Like I like the Aloe ones, but I don't always feel like they're the best for actually working out. Like they sometimes feel a little bit more like leisure wear rather than workout wear. Whereas these are very functional as well as just being very cute and very comfy to wear. They come in a few different colors. Um, I went for, I feel like it's called like a gray color, but for me it's like a dark purple more than a gray. And they just kind of suck you in they're very comfortable a nice amount of compression so good even for cardio but at the same time very comfortable to wear you do have a pocket right there on the back so it's one of those hidden pockets so if you're a runner i think it'd be good for those as well and i just thought these were great and then teamed with the matching sports bra which is just the most adorable thing. And when I was reading the reviews, I think the top review was from someone who said like, I never rip off the tags immediately, but as soon as I try this on, I rip the tags off. And I was like, wow, that's like a glowing review. And I get it, like it's so, so cute. It has this beautiful kind of um, not detail effect on the front, but it's not overly exposed at all. Just the right amount of coverage. It has a slightly thicker band as well. So definitely a little bit more substantial, but still really, really cute. Again, this comes in a few colors, but I wanted the matching set. And I just thought this was adorable. And then the other active wear pick are this pair of leggings. And I've actually had these a couple of months and I've not mentioned that, I don't know why, because I have been very much in love with them ever since. I'm hoping that they come out with new colors. So these are from Lou Lemon. And I think I mentioned the in still tights the other day and I've mentioned the Align leggings just so many times on my channel. I've been a, I wanna say lifelong fan, but as soon as I discovered them, which I think was like, what, three or four years ago, I've been a fan of the Align leggings. I have so many pairs. Um, I tried the install which I love as well. These ones are kind of a combination of the Align and the install. The install ones are a little bit more of like a spandexy stretchy one whereas these have more of like a matte finish but have just as much stretch. These are actually softer than the Align leggings if you can believe it because the Align leggings are incredibly soft. But what I particularly love about these as well are the waistband because they are just so crazy flattering. So they dip ever so slightly in the middle. So they just give you like a beautiful curve and I just think they're fantastic. Like they are so, so flattering and lovely to wear. And they're also just the most ridiculously comfy things to boot. So I'm praying that Lululemon come out with more pairs of these. I think last time I checked there were only like three colors and a lot of them were out of stock. So I'm hoping they're gonna do more, but they are truly amazing. Just the biggest fan of these. And then speaking of clothing items that I've been wearing on repeat, this sweater dress, I cannot get enough. And I'm so happy because this is the most I've ever spent on a sweater dress, but worth every penny. Like I really, really love it. It is 100% cashmere, it is very, very soft. Absolutely no bobbling or piling so far either, which is always a very, very good thing. I've mainly been wearing this with over the knee boots, but I've done it both with flat boots and with high heeled boots as well. I like it both ways. I like the fact that it's a nice neutral too, so it can be teamed with pretty much anything. And it's just been the best buy. Like it is a mini dress, but it's not overly short. Like I don't feel too exposed in it. Just a really, really beautiful classic piece, which I just feel like I'm gonna bring out every single winter. Just the loveliest thing. And now for two bag favorites. And the first one is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And I realize I haven't really updated you guys on this bag, but I've just been loving it so much. And it's been a constant rotation ever since I got it. Like there is not a week that goes by where I don't use this bag. And it's just done really, really well. I love the look of it. I think the arm front is so stunning, even with this more kind of um, giant logo print. Because it is black on black, it doesn't feel like too much. I think the little pops of gold are present enough that it gives it a little something extra, but still very, very subtle. 
and it's just been doing very very well in general like I have been using this a lot um I would say that it is heavier than the original Neverfull I don't notice that now because I don't flip between the two like this has been my go-to Neverfull and I've not switched back to my other one so I've just gotten kind of used to the extra weight but if you have been used to the canvas ones you probably will feel a weight difference but now that I've had this while it doesn't bother me at all and it's just been a really really solid one so if you are considering this bag, would definitely recommend if you like Never Falls. Um, if you don't like Never Falls, you probably won't like it, but I do, and I just think this is a really, really solid addition to the whole line, and I've been enjoying it very much. And last but not least, my Gucci Mini Diana. Ever since I got this bag, I have been totally hooked. It's been the most adorable thing, and the more I use it, the more I seem to love it. It's just such a great little style. I love the fact that it does have like a little bit of history as well, but functionally as well, it's just really, really strong. Like I like the dual ways you can wear it, and I'm comfortable wearing this all three ways. And in terms of the actual bags, I'd say that's true for, I'd say it's maybe a handful. Like most bags, I have a preferred way but this bag I do wear it literally every way I wear it top handle I wear it on the shoulder I wear it crossbody it just works every single way you do have the adjustable strap and you have the beautiful bamboo handles as well and then you have that interior as well I did actually just get a liner for it as well so handbag angels were nice enough to make me this liner and it's a pretty near match to the interior but you don't necessarily need a liner it does just fine without it as well really pretty interior and just enough space for your belongings still definitely a mini bag but it fits in everything that I need for a day out without any issue you have a little magnetic button which closes very very easily you do have the feet on base there and it is a smoother leather but it's actually been pretty durable so far I did get two marks on the back but I was able to wipe those clean I don't think you can see them at all now so I've actually been pleasantly surprised by how durable it's been even though it is a white bag. I'd say my one little niggle is that the handles do squeak a bit when you move them up and down. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that. Yeah. Like, can you hear that? It's not the biggest of deals because I don't constantly move them up and down, but I do wish that they didn't squeak. So if you have a way to fix that, please let me know. Um, but that's the only flaw I can think so far. It's just been the best little thing. So thoroughly enjoying this. It's just been the most wonderful little bag and definitely a favorite for me recently. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section. I'll also pop in the details for that discount code for Astrid and Miu as well. If you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment. And if you enjoy favorites videos, please do give us a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Keep on driving.